Hi everyone, this is going to be rant number two. I just got back from the doctors because no, because no, nothing was wrong. It's just I've been doing research, I've been keeping up on all the MS things, I've been trying my best to understand it all, to keep it all in my head and, and really think about what I want. And you'd think that a doctor would be doing that. You'd think that a doctor, if he has an MS patient, would know things that are going on in the MS community. But apparently not. I went to the doctors today to try to talk to my doctor about Ampira. Now, I have called twice before the doctor's office and asked the him about it, see if he would prescribe it or, you know, what he thought about it. No response. So I finally made an appointment a month ago. I made an appointment. I went today. I said, you know, uh, you know, what do you think about this medicine? I printed out the prescriber's guide to the medicine. Now, I, I would have figured he would have at least looked at it, would have looked into it by now. No, he didn't. He just said, because the city that I'm in is so small, that, that he, and he only has four MS patients, that... You know, no one's tried it yet. They don't know about it. Blah, blah, blah. So just because I live in a small town and that I don't, uh, I, I, I live in a small town and, and there's no one else that's, tr that's on it in that hospital, I can't try it. I can't be the first one. I would like to go to school without worrying if I'm going to fall over and have all this student body around me going, are you okay, are you okay? You know what I mean? Am I just overreacting? I just feel kind of brushed off. And I printed out a pile of research this thick. And I went to my doctor and I, I said, you know, I, I really want to go... He, and he talked about the Doppler. He goes, oh, the Doppler, you know, looked fine. It, w it was fine. And I said, no, it wasn't the right one. It was, I did not get the right Doppler. I brought in the paperwork to do the Doppler. You know, you need to be laying down and then sitting up because your jugular vein only works when you're either laying down or sitting up or, or whatnot. And I told him, no, it wasn't the right one. I brought in the paperwork and they said, no, that they're going to do their own type of Doppler thing to look for clots. I don't have any clots, but they looked for them anyway. I'm just upset that I got brushed off. And, and, okay, so back to my story. He said, well, you, you, your, your Doppler was fine. Okay, my Doppler was fine, but it was the wrong one. It was the wrong one. So I said, you know, I, I, I want to start something here. I know this is a small town, but I want to start something here. I want to start a clinical trial. That would be key. That would be the top-notch awesomeness of everything, right? I'm like, let's start a clinical trial. You have people, if, if, if we can start it somewhere in Missouri, that's the, the middle of the country. The, you, you either have clinical trials going on, the West Coast or the East Coast. You know, what about the people living in the middle? But anyway, if we could start it in Missouri, our key would be St. Louis. And I, and I said, I said, Stephen R. Brenner reacted favorably. Here's a list of, you know, of, of lots of people. Stephen R. Brenner is the second from the top. You know, if, if I could talk to him, I've called him twice before and I've had no response. And maybe, you know, if, if I had a doctor talk to him, maybe he'll listen to me. He goes, well, I, I, I can talk to him if you want. I, I can talk to him. But then that's it. So I don't think he's going to talk to him. So I said, fine. I want... I, I, I called somebody. I, I was making calls around Springfield and... I was seeing, you know, do you, you know, do you know anything about CCSVI or uh, can, can I talk to you about it, blah, blah, blah. One person said, oh, you have MS, you need a neurologist. Okay, bye. I know I need a neurologist. I'm not stupid. Anyway. 
So, I said, his name is Dr. Michael Walkman. Someone said, if anybody in Springfield is going to be open to this, it's him. So I said, I want a referral to Dr. Michael Walkman to talk to him about this. And he goes, oh, okay. And then he just wrote it up. He just gave it to me. And you know what popped in my head? Irish Bear did. Irish Bear popped in my head when he said, well, doctors make me so mad when they just give you whatever you want to shut you up. And that's what I feel happened today. He basically said, I said, well, look at the sun It's help people walk with MS and I have trouble walking. No. No, this place is too small. No, no one's, no one's tried it here. So uh, I'm, I'm not going to be the first one to try it. I don't know. I just feel a little bit defeated. You know, I told my mom in the car, if this Dr. Walkman says no to me too, I don't know what the heck I'm going to supposed to flip and do. I don't, I don't know. And I, and I told him, I said, I know, I, I'm, uh, he's saying the praises of Ty Sabri, which I do too, uh, hell, it's gotten me, oh, excuse my language, it's gotten me out of a hospital bed and walking with a walker. That's a huge step. That's a huge step. I mean, Ty Sabri has saved me, okay, and, and, and it's great, and I don't want to stop using it. It's just, he said, you know, two years, and I, and so I'm like, okay, two years. I'm just about to reach the halfway point. I'm just about to reach a year. What's going to happen after? I don't want to go downhill again. So if I get this liberation procedure and it halts the progression and I'm already good on, on Tysabri, where Tysabri's got me up here and I, I was down here, and, and I get the liberation procedure and it keeps me up here and I don't have to take Tysabri, isn't that, like, awesome? My I'm just, uh, I don't know, I'm just aggravated. It, it's more frustration than anything else because when people think, oh, she has MS, she's uh, 23 years old, uh, you know. No, I really do, I really look into research. I really try to keep up on everything, you know. And he just was like, oh, I'm so impressed with Type Sabri. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed. Yeah, I'm impressed too. I'm really happy. And, and he goes, oh, you've, all your vibration comes back. Then he had me stand up. And he's like, you can stand up. And I'm like, yes, I know. When I'm in my house, I don't even use my walker. I just put my hand on the wall to walk. I know. And, and I know Type Sabri has been so good. You know, and, and it has been. And I'm so thankful it worked for me. But I need... You know, if, if this can halt the progression, just it's just aggravating being someone. Holy moly, and I'm almost nine. Okay, uh, I don't I have to wrap this up. This rant has gone on way too long, but it's just aggravating being an MS patient, knowing that there's something out there that's helping other people. That yeah, it, it could it, you know it could be a placebo effect. It could be bad things, but there's been so many results with it and. And he goes, well, in the U.S., we don't start, we don't start, um, we have a much harder FDA. I'm like, it's already here. It's already started in California and in uh, New York. It's already started. Okay, I've got to be quiet now. Okay, thanks for watching. And if you are angry too, leave a comment below and we'll be angry together. Okay, bye.